Welcome back to Rise Exchange. Record-breaking cold temps are registering across nearly the entire eastern half of the nation. Even southern Florida could see temperatures down in the mid-30s. We'll take mid-30s right now. What does it mean for the bottom line? However, with more on the extreme weather and its impact is Bernie Reno, AccuWeather's senior meteorologist. Good afternoon, Bernie. Welcome back to Rise Exchange. Yeah, it's good to be indoors, Andrew. I'm so, glad I'm going outdoors. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to ask you to do this <laughs> from the outside. So uh, just put in, in terms of historic perspective what we're looking at. Oh, uh, well, first of all, this is the coldest air mass of the season, but from a historic perspective, we broke records all over the place last night across the Midwest from Cape Girardeau, uh, uh, Missouri. They smashed their uh, daily record this morning and their all-time record cold. Records across the Midwest, that is going to be happening along the East Coast, New York City, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington. We'll get record lows all the way down in the Florida, as you mentioned, Orlando, Jacksonville, and once again into the Midwest. Unlike early in the season where the cold was confined to New England, this is widespread, again, from the plains all the way toward the East Coast currently. Okay, so let's talk about the economic impact. At some point, I imagine people don't go out and shop, mm -hmm. and, you know, people don't go out and look at homes. Uh, are you starting to see that take place? Well, certainly, and, and I think the other standpoint is, is the heating costs, at least even in my house, my bills are way, way up over the last couple of months or so. Also, let's not forget what we just went through. We had snow and ice down across the deep south into the Carolinas and in the Kentucky. That's expensive to be able to remove that, uh, uh, the, uh, the ice and the snow. And, of course, New England, boy, I, I can't imagine how much that's costing all the cities and the municipalities from southern New England all the way up into northern New England. Now, they have that factored into their budget, but not record snowfall. Second snowiest uh, season on record in Boston, and they have a good yep. chance of breaking that. Yeah, and they're way over their budget right, right now. And how is this impacting the transportation industry? On some level, I would think people want to get into an airline and go somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure where you go right now. Well, you know, hey, if you're headed toward Florida right now, you're you're sorely disappointed yeah. on what you're seeing. But it is going to be warming up. Don't forget, we've we haven't had widespread snowstorms at least so far this year. It's generally been up in New England, although we've had our latest one. So the airline industry hasn't been as hard as it could have been hit with all this cold. But we do have a weekend storm Saturday and the Sunday that's going to stretch from the Midwest Plains all the way into the Northeast, and that's going to have an impact. Yeah, and, you know, homeowners are facing their own problems right now, bursting pipes. But I imagine that's a business opportunity for a bunch of people, right? Some of this well, weather you, is good for people. Well, absolutely. You, you know, uh, someone's uh, famine is another one's feast, and uh, certainly uh, from uh, roofing contractors, of course, once we get the uh, cold out of here, but also other industries that do well when the storm's busy. And dare I say, the weather industry has certainly reaped and it's helped business just because of all the cold and all the storms, more people coming to check weather information out. So someone always wins in severe weather, but unfortunately, there's a lot of negative impacts. Bernie, when does this end right now, when do you think? Well, I, I, not for the next couple of weeks. I think we're we're right in it, right through February. Perhaps there's a little bit of change as we get into March. One thing we didn't talk about that there's not been much discussion. Don't forget, we still have that bad, uh, as worse as it can get, drought across California. Mm. There's been no relief this month. Hopefully, we'll get some next month. Bernie, we will have you back on to talk about that. Bernie Reno at AccuWeather. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Time now for our business.